Okay, so this particular problem seems like a simple math word problem, but actually you really have to know what you're doing in order to solve the problem. Okay, so let me go ahead and read it right now. It says the following, Dave can cut the lawn in 50 minutes, Ed can cut the lawn in 40 minutes. How long will it take if they work together? All right, so that is our problem, but we have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our options. So A is 55 minutes, B is 45 minutes, C is 31.6 minutes, and D is 22.2 minutes. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now let's take another uh, look at the problem before I show you the answer. So Dave can cut the lawn in 50 minutes. Ed can cut the same lawn in 40 minutes. How long will it take if they work together? Now be very careful here with your answers because a lot of you are going to answer this question and it's not gonna make sense. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in just one second. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is D, 22.2 minutes. Now, if you got this right, that is super impressive. You definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And uh, a lot of you out there may have answered with 45 minutes. Okay, I could probably tell you um, in terms of wrong answers, this is probably the number one wrong answer. Now, what's going on there? Well, people would just simply take 50 and 45 and just average that. But does that make sense? Okay, hopefully a lot of you are saying, no, that doesn't make sense, Mr. YouTube Math Man, because if Dave can cut the lawn in 50 minutes, and then Ed over here can cut the lawn in 40 minutes, and they team up and they say, hey, listen, let's work together. Don't you think it's going to take them, uh, you know, less time than what Ed can do the lawn in? Of course, they're going to save a lot of time. And uh, some of you might have just said, well, 22.2 minutes just seems to be right. So if you pick this and just kind of was intuitively felt correct, well, that is fantastic. Of course, we want to understand the math, but uh, it's certainly not the average of these two times. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And what we're talking about here is an algebra word problem. Now, if you uh, didn't uh, use algebra to solve this particular problem, well, that is fantastic. But before I get into the algebra, uh, let's just kind of, do, uh, kind of uh, quickly review some basics about math word problems in general. And that is always use the rule of three. Read a problem at least three times before you start doing anything. So obviously we have Dave, he can cut this lawn in 50 minutes and Ed can cut the same lawn in 40 minutes. So how long will it take if they work together. Now, as I kind of indicated in the beginning of this video, you know, uh, if Ed can do it in 40 minutes and uh, Ed says, hey, Dave, uh, help me out here. Uh, we're gonna save a lot of time if we work together. You know, they might cut their time in half. So maybe they'll cut Ed, Ed's time in half. So that would be 40 divided by two or 20 minutes. So from an intuitive kind of common sense standpoint, Hopefully a lot of you did answer this correctly, but if we didn't have a multiple choice question here, and this was an open-ended question, well, we're simply gonna need to know the math. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about something called algebra work problems. Now, in algebra, you study different types of word problems. Now, one type of word problem, W-O-R-D, word problem, is something called a work problem. And here is a little formula. And this particular type of problem is a very common, a typical type of problem that you're going to solve in uh, uh, kind of any level of algebra. And this is basically the formula that you want to remember. And it kind of goes like this. So this is the time it takes for um, uh, two things. Actually, let me kind of just um, make sure I'm not confusing anyone here. So one over the time together, right, is equal to one over the part, how much it takes um, 
uh, in this particular case, how much it takes one person or one machine to do the job plus the time it takes one machine or another person to do another job, and this can continue on. Now, I know I probably confused a lot of people, so let me go ahead and explain this. Okay, so if one person or one machine can do a job at a certain time, we're going to put that time right here. Now, if another person or another machine can do the same job, but at a different time, we're going to put that time right here. And the time they can do it together is going to be 1 over the sum of these two right here, the sum of these two fractions. This is going to be equal to the time they can do it together. Now, you'll see that this is a little bit easier to understand from an algebraic standpoint, but work problems involve, uh, you know, people, people working or machines working. So let's say we had one machine that can do the lawn or one machine that can produce X amount of widgets in a certain time and another machine can do the same job in another time. Well, that, you know, kind of setup is what we call a work problem. So this is a fantastic little formula to know, and you'll see how this uh, works as I um, actually get into the solution. All right, so one over the time they do this together is equal to one over the time it takes one person or one machine to do this, plus uh, one over the time it takes another uh, person or machine, and this could continue on. So if we had three people doing this lawn, we would just put their time over here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see how this works right now, and here is our problem. So we have Dave and Ed. And Dave can do this in 50 minutes, and Ed can do this in 40 minutes. Now, one thing that we want to uh, uh, pay special attention to here is that we are dealing with minutes. Okay, if I had this as Dave can do the lawn in one hour in 10 minutes, and Ed can do this in 40 minutes, well, we would have to convert to one unit or another, right? So we have to work in all minutes or uh, all hours, but here, we are just dealing with minutes, so that is easy, but uh, you got to pay attention to units of measure in word problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up so Dave can do the lawn in 50 minutes, Ed can do the lawn in 40 minutes, and let's let X equal the time they can do the lawn together. All right, so we're going to keep this formula in mind right here, 1 over together. Now we have a variable x. x is going to represent the time they can uh, do this together. So this is going to be Dave's time, and this will be Ed's time down here in the numerators. And what we're going to do is set up an equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So it's going to be 1 over Dave's time, so 1 over 50 plus 1 over Ed's time. That's 1 over 40 is equal to 1 over x, which is the time they can do the job together. All right, so basically right here, we have a lovely algebra equation that if we can solve for the variable x, well, we will have solved the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before I uh, show you the solution to this lovely equation. Now, I've been on YouTube uh, for a long time. I've posted so many videos. I don't really kind of keep track, but what I try to do is spread things around from basic math to advanced math. So I do a lot of algebra, geometry, trigonometry, uh, arithmetic, fractions, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, my whole point for my channel is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way and to offer encouragement uh, for those of you out there that are interested in math or you know maybe are struggling in math. Never ever give up in mathematics. What you need to do is find someone that you can uh, learn from that you like and understand. So if you like my teaching style, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is kind of like algebra one, algebra two level mathematics. Now, if you like word problems, I post a ton of word problems on my YouTube channel. So make sure to hit that notification bell as you are subscribing because I need your help to continue to reach as many people as possible on YouTube. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and solve this equation. And there's different ways we can approach this. Obviously, we're going to have to add these two fractions right here, 1 over 50 plus 1 over 40. And this is equal to 1 over x. But uh, there's another way we can handle this equation, and that is just to clear all the fractions. And the way we can do that is to multiply the entire uh, entire equation by the LCD. Okay, matter of fact, we just find the LCD of 50 and 40, and this will clear the fractions. All right, so the LCD of 50 and 40 is 200. And if you need help, 
uh, just kind of reviewing basic fraction stuff, then check out my Math Foundations or my Math Skill Rebuilder courses. Rebuilder course, uh, you'll see the links to those in the description of this video, but the LCD is 200. Now, if I multiply the entire equation by the LCD or 200, I just clear away the fractions. It just makes life much easier. You don't have to do this, but this is generally a good step. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply the entire equation by the LCD, which is 200. So 200 times 1 over 50 is what? Well, 50 goes into 204. And again, if you're not understanding what's going on here with uh, the fractions, uh, then you know what to uh, review. Okay, so 200 times 1 over 50 is 4. And now remember, we have to multiply each term uh, in this equation by 200. So 200 times 1 over 40. 40 goes into 205, and then 200 times 1 over x is going to be 200 over x. Now, um, we didn't clear all the fractions here. I could have multiplied uh, by 200x because technically that is the LCD. And if a lot of you are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, uh, make sure you speak correctly about what you're saying. Well, yes, you are right. I apologize. But basically what we're trying to do is just make life easier for ourselves. So we got 4 plus 5 is equal to 200 over x. We'll deal with this x here uh, in just one second, but at least we don't have to add these fractions. All right, so 4 plus 5 is equal to 200 over x. Let's go ahead and take the next steps, which, of course, is to add these numbers. So now we have 9 over 200 over x. And what we can do is set up a proportion or just put 9 over 1. And here I have two equal fractions. So remember, if you have one fraction that's equal to another fraction, so like let's say 1 half is equal to 4 over 8, which, of course, it is, uh, the cross product applies. This is what we call a proportion. So 2 times 4 is 8, and that's equal to 1 times 8, which of course is 8. So in this situation, here I have one fraction, and I'm saying it's equal to another fraction. We can think of this as a simple proportion and literally just do cross multiplication or the cross product. All right, so that's going to be 9 times x is equal to 1 times 200. All right, so 1 times 200 is 200. 9 times x is 9x. So to solve for x, all we have to do is literally divide both sides of the equation by 9. So 200 divided by 9 is approximately 22.2. Remember, our units of measure were in minutes, and this answer makes sense, right? So when we're thinking about um, Dave and Ed doing the lawn, if one person can do it in 40 minutes, the other person can do it in 50 minutes, well, if they work together and, you know, they're like, yeah, you, we're going to get this job done real quick, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 minutes makes sense. And this is a kind of a good little uh, way to end this video. When you are solving math problems, oftentimes you can look at your solution and just kind of ask yourself, hey, does this answer make sense? Because oftentimes it will not. And I've seen this, you know, time and time again. So, you know, always feel free to, you know, use some common sense in, you know, uh, kind of judging your final answer. If it doesn't make sense, well, typically you're probably on the right track and you need to go back and make a correction. All right, but uh, hopefully this little video was entertaining or it helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.